another vlog. My name is Carly and today we're going hiking and I am honestly super excited because I love hiking and I haven't gone hiking in so long. So today is the perfect opportunity. I'm going to skip the gym this morning and head to the trails instead. I've got no plans for the day besides hiking, which is perfect. It's going to be like a 40 minute drive to get there so it takes a little while but then it's a gorgeous hike i'm gonna do the Morialta three falls hike which is beautiful you hike past waterfalls you get gorgeous views of the city it's stunning but yeah it is 7 30 in the morning i'm gonna have some breakfast i'm gonna have some porridge with protein powder so i'm like nice and full and then I'm just gonna head off go for a nice early morning hike so let's go baby just arrived at Morialta and found a parking spot which is the hardest part of the hike but I am ready to go I've got my water in my backpack and most importantly I've got my hiked it liked it cap which I always have to wear when I'm on a hike I've also got my headphones I'm not too sure what I'm gonna listen to I'm thinking probably a podcast maybe some music halfway through all that sort of stuff but yeah I'm excited for a nice good hike this is an intense one too I'll tell you about how steep it is at the start when we get over there but yeah let's go for a hike So the first part of this hike is always super intense because you gain a lot of altitude very quickly. It's just a bunch of switchbacks as you go higher and higher up the hill and then obviously once you're up there it levels out and it's really beautiful and relaxing. But here is the start of the trail. As you can see it's boop, boop, like it gets high very quickly but there's nothing to do but to get started so let's get hiking it's also good because you get the hardest part over and done with and then you can just enjoy the waterfalls and the views and all that good stuff a new place a new home for a while let me feel alive nothing to hold me back take my time just enjoy the ride Okay, we have made it to the first lookout, which also means the most intense part of the hike is over. Thank God, oh my God, I forgot how intense that first part of the hike was. Like, feels like I just ran a 5K, dude. My heart rate was like 180, but feels good. Now we've got all the beautiful, scenic, gorgeous trails to go. So here's the lookout. If it gets a little less, there we go. You can see into the suburbs. Absolutely beautiful. So we have hiked a long way up in a very short amount of time. So now, if I remember correctly, it levels out a bit and we get the waterfalls and the city view and all that gorgeous stuff. But <sighs> stop number one made it. Now it's time <laughs> to continue.
One thing I should have done, which I thought about doing, but then I just didn't, was to pack my Kindle. Like there's so many little benches on this hike and this would be such a beautiful place to just sit and read my book for a little while. But alas, I did not bring my Kindle. So the hike continues, which is also a good thing because then it's just a continuous workout rather than stopping to read my book, no matter how nice that would have been. Like reading Air of Fire, the Throne of Glass series in the middle of a hike like this. Hell yeah. So this is normally waterfall number one, but I mean, I am hiking right at the end of an Australian summer. So, I mean, it makes sense that there's no waterfall. This is the most waterfall action we're getting, but the view is still stunning. And these people down here, they've got the right idea. That looks amazing. But yeah, this is normally a raging waterfall, but like I said, summer. <laughs> I remember a couple years ago, me and Kiri were hiking this track and it was around probably the same time of year, it was pretty warm. And I remember we got to one of these points and we saw a snake and let me tell you we have not <laughs> gotten back to the car faster we ran the rest of the way and I will never forget that. <laughs> Australia isn't as intense as people think it is when it comes to spiders and snakes and all that sort of stuff but obviously in places like this you still have to be careful. <laughs> So I am near the end of the trail now. Oh, there's a steep, awkward bit. Hold on. <laughs> but one thing I will say is that I definitely need better hiking shoes. Like these ones are trail running shoes, but they hurt the backs of my feet, like right here. I'm pretty sure I'm getting blisters, which is not ideal when you're on a nice long hike. And the black Nikes I used to wear all the time, I've had for like, seven plus years and they're just broken now so I really need to invest in another pair of hiking shoes. Actually it would be ideal if it was like the perfect shoes for hiking, walking, running and just general training in the gym. I just need another pair of shoes but I have no idea what to get so if you know what shoes are good let me know. I've always bought Nikes but like I can branch out. <laughs> If you know a good shoe that's kind of a perfect all-rounder, let me know. Ooh, okay, I... What is going on with my hair? I forgot how much I absolutely love hiking that was so much fun it's so nice to get out in fresh air and it's still such an intense workout like the start of that hike bruh my heart rate didn't leave like 180 for that first part until you're up high and then i mean it was the perfect length of a hike it was just under five kilometers which 
I don't think I could do much more with the back of my foot because I'm gonna have some blisters. These were not the right shoes to wear for this, but that was so much fun. And oh, I remember why I love hiking so much now and I definitely need to do this a few more times before I head off to Germany. I do have a protein bar in here, a keep it cleaner one, mint crisp. I've never had this one before. I might eat it on the way home I might not I'm not too sure yet I'm not that hungry so I might not but I feel like since I've been going to the gym so much more lately I have not been getting enough protein so <laughs> I need to adequately try and get more protein in my diet but yeah that is my morning hike it is 10 15 now it'll be like a 35 40 minute drive home and then it's gonna be a chill Sunday. I have not too much to do. I think I've got a freelance job I need to do, so I'm gonna get that done, be a little bit productive, make a little bit of money on the weekend. And then I think I'm just gonna edit. Like I am really on my YouTube game again, I wanna say. Like I'm having so much fun filming and posting YouTube videos. And while I'm motivated, I'm gonna keep it up. So I'm probably gonna go home and edit this video, to be honest, and then this video can go up soon but whew, that was good I miss hiking Marialta is so beautiful I need to try Mount Lofty I've done it once in my life and I can't remember if it was harder or easier than Marialta but maybe I'll do Mount Lofty next I think that's a busier I don't know I don't know maybe we'll hike Mount Lofty but yeah I'm going to drive home listen to some music. I mean, it was so good. I literally put my phone in my bag and simply did not touch it the entire time. I just had my headphones on, listening to music, having a solo hike by myself. It was lovely. Highly recommend. But yeah, I guess that's it for this vlog. It's rapidly getting very warm in this car, so I'm going to turn it on and drive home. Although it's not that hot today. It's a top of like 20 something today which is much nicer i don't think i'd want to hike this when it's in the 30s that's just too hot <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna go home i'm gonna edit i'm gonna freelance i'm gonna be productive for the rest of my day and then it's back to the working week tomorrow so <laughs> thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it i put out new videos every few days subscribe and hit that notification bell if you'd like to see more and i'll see you next time bye guys